Hello traders, FS Pepcoletti here. Today is Thursday, June 29th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold versus the US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So even though gold is really struggling to get up beyond this point, and we definitely have a triple top right here, I still believe this move down is a part of a correction, and I still believe it is going to go up and at least break these highs and probably go at least to the $2,200 area and maybe even a lot higher than that. So let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I do believe this move down is a correction to this last wave up. We are sitting at the 61.8, so if it does respect that area and turn up, I think it's going to be the end of a correction and the continuation of the uptrend. So let's take it down to the daily because that's kind of where the clarity is for me. On the daily, you can see almost a perfect one, two, three, four, five waves up. I think this correction is a correction to these five waves up. Then you can see a one, two, three, four, five of A. This right here is a very collect corrective pattern for the B, and I think we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of C already. So really all we need to do is see an impulsive move up and a break of structure, and we'll know that ABC correction is over, and we'll most likely be back into an uptrend. So taking it down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, it's actually very clear right now that this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 of C. Like I said, we are sitting at this level, so if it goes up and takes out the wave 4 structure, then we'll know that the wave 5 is over. Then if it continues up and takes out the high of this wave 4, we'll know that the whole ABC correction is over, and that most likely will be the continuation of the uptrend. So let's take it right down to the 1 hour, take a closer look, because on the 1 hour, you can even see see almost a perfect trend for the wave five. One, two, three, four, and five ways down, sitting right at the 61.8. If this makes an impulsive move up, takes out Strutzer, that's probably going to be the end of a wave five of C, especially if it just keeps on trending and eventually takes out the high of wave four. That high of wave four is what I'm really looking for to prove that this really is the end of a wave C, and most likely at that point it will be the continuation of the uptrend. Now, even though I believe that this is very, very likely to happen, I am not going to even think about going long at least until I see a break of structure to this upside because we very really could end up going down to one of the lower Fibonacci levels even though we have almost a perfect looking trend. So if it does not break this high then I'll continue to look for sorts in a downtrend. If it does go up and break this high then I'll stop looking for sorts and I'll start looking for longs and that may even be the continuation of the uptrend on the longer time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.